would like to, we're going to start off uh, a, a toast to the spleen, a toast to Gussie, so if everyone would raise their glasses Yay. to Gussie Wickstrom. To Gussie. 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 <laughs> Last year the predictions were pretty good. We uh, said it was going to be a cold winter. Um, predicted some uh, uh, some fog and things like that, and it, it turned out pretty good. I would say it's in the upper 90 percentile um, category. Maybe not quite as good as Gussie. It was always hovering around 99, but we're we're getting there. Uh, I'd also like to mention that I did predict the demise of Rob Ford, and where do you, do you see him today? No, you don't. Oh, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, so this year, so the rules of the pig spleen are, you, you take the spleen and there's, uh, you divide it into six sections from top to bottom. And uh, each segment represents one month of the year. And you look at the fatty deposits and the thickness of the spleen, things like that, uh, to give you the temperature. Um, how much uh, rain or snow there's going to be and any particular odd events that might happen. This, if you look at the video from last year, the, the spleen last year just had loads of fat on it and we had a terribly cold winter in general. This year, you'll see there's hardly anything. And <laughs> so right now it's, it's looking like a, a fairly a mild winter, especially for the first three months or so. We're going to have uh, some good rain again starting in uh, May or April. Uh, of, of note is uh, foggy patches. Foggy patches probably starting in uh, February, March. And I'll put the dates on the, on the website when I uh, figure them out more exactly. But we're going to see some, uh, some real sort of uh, uh, ups and downs again. I think in February snow is probably even going to disappear from around here. You won't you won't see any snow, and then it'll come back. But we we won't we're not going to have very much. So in general, it's a it's a real um, real mild winter coming up. Uh, probably normal to above normal kind of temperatures that we're looking at, and a little less than normal uh, precipitation. Of of interest is always June, May, June. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have the first part of June is going to be wet. The end of June is going to be um, more dry. The last previous years, we've seen uh, lots of rain all the way through June, and this year it's going to be a little bit different, drier towards the end of June. So, I think we're seeing a, a change in the in the weather from being abnormally cold to starting to getting getting a little bit warmer. Um, something's going to happen on April 27th. I think this was picked out by JV. Uh, there's a there's sort of a bump in the spleen, and that could be. Uh, it's probably weather related. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Other than that, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's the prediction. Any Excellent. questions from Any the questions audience? from the audience? <laughs> Yeah. How many spleens did you read? Yeah. This year I read five or yeah five spleens. <coughs> One had a lot of fat on it, so it, and it was probably an out-of-province pig, something that they brought in. <laughs> the, other, the other four were pretty uh, pretty consistent. They were all about the same with the like the very uh, small amounts of fat on them. There's not a lot of difference between them. From Earview. All from Earview Colony. Earview. Yeah. Congratulations. So that puts us uh, 200 kilometers radius? Yes, the radius of accuracy is 200 kilometers. 200 miles, 300 kilometers. That's it. Thank you very much. Get your props in.